Here's Brody Brazil. So if you're from the Bay Area, I already know that you know exactly what this is, right? It takes two seconds to realize it's the BART map, which actually probably seems busier than it realistically is. I mean, there are two and three and four lines here together in some spots to make it look like there's more stations, but there's actually not. This map has changed a little bit over the years as BART has gone, like, for example, through Castro Valley and into Dublin and Pleasanton and now down to San Jose with the Berryessa and North San Jose station. And yeah, I remember when it went to the airport for the first time. So it, it has expanded, but it's still not really a perfect system for the Bay Area by any means. And speaking of perfect systems, have you ever traveled to London? This is the underground, a.k.a. the tube, a.k.a. they don't call it the subway, but <laughs> that's basically what it is. To the extent that you really could survive in London pretty easily without a car. A lot of people don't need a car because of this public transportation network. Look how many stations there are, connections to other services. It's one of the world-class transit systems on the globe. I think Tokyo's up there too, but these do exist in other places. Just kind of, yeah, obviously not here in the Bay Area, but whoa, what is that? Is that a new BART map? Looking on your screen real closer, I know it's small. We'll zoom in in just a second. That's a lot of BART stations there, and that's not how BART goes right now. This is BART utopia. This is what a perfect BART system would look like for the Bay Area. Let's begin at the very top. This thing begins at the north northmost point of Jennings. That's above Santa Rosa. We're in Sonoma County. We're in Napa County. There's stops all over wine country. One in Sonoma, for example. We've got connections that run down through San Pablo, down through Pacheco. How about right down the 101 up there? Through Novato, through Larkspur, through Corte Madera, uh, Mill Valley. This would be optimal BART. How about BART going all the way out to Brentwood, making stops in, you know, obviously Bay Point, Pittsburgh, but Antioch, Oakley. There's a lot more stations here. There's a lot more connections here. Now, this is just an ideal situation. Vallejo would get its own BART stop. And line, it looks like, the green line, would end in downtown Vallejo. But just imagine this. If the Bay Area actually had it like this, instead of how we have it now, where initially I think it was only Alameda, Contra Costa, and San Francisco counties. Eventually San Mateo would you know, get in the mix, or, or uh, Santa Clara County would get in the mix. But how about this kind of centralized area? And it, it looks here like we have BART in that blue line, that light blue line running all the way from Livermore across the San Mateo Bridge to Foster City. And look how many more connections there are here, like parallel to 880, a lot more stops, obviously 98th and San Leandro, but Washington, Bayfair, San Lorenzo, Hayward, Harder, Tennyson, South Hayward, the Fremont Riverwalk, another one down in Irvington and Mission Boulevard. Some of these exist, but you can see all the additional ones. How about running up and down 680? You'd have BART going down parallel with another freeway line through Alamo, Danville, a Sycamore Valley station, San Ramon, Bollinger, down through Pleasanton that way. And yeah, the peninsula down obviously 280 and 101 and all through like the San Francisco State neighborhood, Terraval, Winston, Hinipero, Serra, Daly City, Colma, McClellan, Chestnut, Tanferan. I mean... Just imagine how perfect this would be if it were actual reality. Also, the thing about like London and the train system there is that they run every handful of minutes. How many times do you show up to a BART station and the next train, not even the one you're waiting for, but the next train is like 17 minutes away? <laughs> the frequency of a map like this, not just the, the stations and the locations, but the frequency, if upped, would be tremendous. And then ultimately, if BART went all the way down to at the southernmost end, Los Gatos. But to get there, you'd go maybe through 101 or down the 87 corridor, or maybe across 85, like where Cupertino, North Saratoga, Saratoga. There's like, what, two Cupertino stops, two Saratoga stops, Los Altos, got a Palo Alto BART station, one for Atherton, Redwood City, San Carlos, uh, Mountain View. Sunnyvale, Santa Clara, and some of those ones there in San Jose, the Deridon, the downtown San Jose, 
Um, those are actually in the process of being built. Milpitas, Hostetter, Berryessa, Winchester, Campbell. So it would make the Bay Area just a lot easier to get around. I think about the traffic that wouldn't exist because this would be an option. Look at that. On the left, perfect BART, and on the right, BART as it is today. So let me ask you this question and leave your answer in the comment section below. What would you do? How would your life be different if BART were perfect as I depicted it versus how it is today?